Mr. Randall's poetry and also a short story that is embedded in this play. And so we're very fortunate uh, for that and that it's not royalty. So anybody could use this uh, play in their classroom. It could be a reader's theater piece or it could be a, uh, a piece in which um, uh, you would actually uh, dramatize it like we're doing tonight. Um, we also purposely wanted to do it so that it was low tech, so that it could show that anybody could do it, that you didn't need, you know, um, oh, come on in, that, that you did not need, you know, um, lots of costumes and, um, and very elaborate sets or anything like that, that you could do as long as you had a space and you have uh, actors who are willing to perform, then uh, you can do this play. So first of all, I want to commend the actors uh, for stepping into this play. Uh, again, it was a developing piece. Uh, they helped with lines, and I told them that when we do upload the script to uh, the website, then uh, we will, I will also put their names there too because they help develop it and it'll look nice on their resume. You know, that they were actually a part of helping to create uh, the script itself. Uh, and so the other thing I wanted to tell you is that we did have, we did actually start off with seven actors. Uh, we lost one because one got grounded. And so, and so there will be a few times that you will see uh, some actors with books, uh, and that is because they had to take this other part. Um, so uh, please be aware of that. But to me, that's still in keeping with the fact is that you know this can be a reader's theater uh, piece also, and so um, so you know I really don't feel uh, it would detract from it. They have worked very very hard. They have worked hard on this, and so tonight we're going to film it. Um, if you are a parent or a guardian of one of the uh, young people who are under the age of 18, um, I do have um, waivers. Um, and so if you see me afterwards, if you could uh, get one of the waivers so that we can upload it. And, um, and you're free to use the film. Uh, the, the actors can use the film any way that they would like to. Okay, so um, the last thing I want to say is that this is a presentation of the youth program of Plowshares Theater Company. Plowshares Theater Company, and the artistic director, I should say, is my husband, who is in the back there, uh, holding the programs that I had left in the car, so uh, <laughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, but Plowshares Theater Company is uh, Michigan's only professional African-American uh, theater company. And um, you can go onto the website. Uh, there's a new website. You can go on the website and see the sort of, uh, of plays and programs that Plowshare Theater has. Um, there's a couple of the actors were actually in another program that Plowshare uh, did. Plowshare was, uh, was one of the partners of the uh, Youth Theater Fellows Program that we uh, did for five years at the University of Michigan Detroit Center. And so uh, we're going to continue on with these types of programs. And so without further ado, I would like to present to you It Speaks to Me.